Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I flew with Turkish Airlines in business class to Istanbul. I got in around midnight, met up with my old friend Michael, and I went straight to sleep. I just woke up in Sultan Ahmet, at the heart of the old city of Istanbul, which was once called Constantinople, and before that Byzantium. We're up, we're ready to explore, let's go. We're in Turkey, in Istanbul, and making decisions about where we're going to go for the day. There's such a plethora of riches. The Blue Mosque, Hagia Sophia, underground cisterns, and lots of places to eat out. Let's see where we end up today. We're not doing something that's too structured. We're going to see how we feel. That always works out great. So we've decided it's the Blue Mosque up first. It's only a four minute walk away from the hotel. And uh, we can judge after that how fit we're feeling for the day. Fit to be tied. <laughs> Immediately outside the hotel, it's actually quite busy already. It's only 11 o'clock. People are sitting down for lunch. I love that. The plate. That's absolutely gorgeous. Do you like that? You love a bit of duck egg blue gold and a metallic glow. My nerves were right, right outside it. Did you hear the call to prayer this morning? No, I was up for that. Talk about convenience. Less than a block and a half away from our hotel is the Blue Mosque, right over there. What's going on here? Think of holy water. Do people... Cleanse your sins. Maybe that's what it is. Cleanse your soul, yeah. Do you want to stop for an hour? Do you think there's enough water? Shut your face. I'm completely free of sin. We have discovered that the Blue Mosque is closed. It is Friday, so it is Friday prayers, but it reopens for visitors at 2.30. So we're going to look for something now which is not visiting a mosque. Thank you very much. We're going to try and visit one of the other top five things to do in Sultan Ahmed. We're a bit unsure what to do. There's quite a big queue for Hagia Sophia, which probably we could have worked out was going to be the case. But uh, maybe it's because it's been closed after prayers and if you come back later, it's not as bad. We're going to regroup and find out about that. But in the meantime, we're going to the Basilica Cistern. really fascinating lighting down here. They've really thought about these 
interesting linear straight lines, these spaces, and about lighting it so that your photography is really interesting. It's quite hard on a big camera like this to capture all the nuance of that, but I'm gonna share a couple of bits from my iPhone, uh, which I think works slightly better in this light. The other thing that's really lovely down here is that it's cool and outside it's getting on for 90 degrees. Like everywhere in Istanbul it's quite busy down here and people are stopping to enjoy these light installations which sit underneath some of the arches. We've had a good walk around the cisterns, hopefully you've enjoyed the footage that I just shared with you. Michael is concise and to the point. Very beautiful. No, we don't have that anyway, you know. We're inside the Blue Mosque. There seems to be lots of work going on in here, but is this it, this one room? I could see uh, an area for women to pray, but can't see the separate place that men would pray. So maybe there's another bit to it that we need to go and see. It was a wet balloon, wasn't it? It was a wet balloon. What's a wet balloon? <laughs> it was a wet blanket, wasn't it? A damp squib? Damp squib. Yeah, I think you're right, it was a wet balloon. <laughs> Lead balloon was the word I was looking for. I think we're doing mixed metaphors. So we've tried our absolute level best to enjoy the Blue Mosque, but inside there's so many works that are going on, it's almost impossible to see all but just a bit of a glimpse of the inner dome. There are four columns inside which are particularly well worth seeing, but sadly, if you visit Istanbul at the moment, it's not possible to have a look. This is brick only paste. Okay. okay. Yep. And wow. Turkish traditional bread. It's coffee bread. It looks gorgeous. It looks like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheesy roll. Spice, mm -hmm. with honey. It looks delicious. Light. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Planet Patrick from here in Istanbul in Turkey. If you don't already, please subscribe and you can follow me for live stories on Instagram at this is Planet Patrick. It's the same address for TikTok, by the way. Until the next episode, take care. Bye bye. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick.